another week, boys, and another twab. This week at Bungie, we pause to reflect. Before we talk about the game, we're going to talk about the incredibly important conversation that has taken place online and the events that led to it. Many courageous women have come forward with stories of harassment and abuse. There's been a lot of pain laid bare in story after story told by these survivors. Some of us have not experienced this pain firsthand and can't truly understand it. Yet there are many people in our community feeling empathy, sadness, and anger when confronted with truly awful harassment and abuse that so many of our friends have had to endure. Sadly, this wasn't isolated to our corner of the world and has also affected men and non-binary folks as well. In the days that followed the initial revelations, we witnessed more people who have been similarly affected coming forward. This is a bigger issue that the entire gaming industry needs to face. Together, we could take action to make the space we share better for everyone. Missed all this heartache, it's been inspiring to see these stories met with wave of love, belief, and support that is turning into momentum for more change. Thank you for reaffirming that though every community has problems, ours doesn't shy away from confronting them and banding together to overcome them head on. We have reaffirmed our commitment to enforce the standards of our code of conduct and the platforms and channels we control. We are currently working on other ways we can help combat toxicity and abuse in the gaming community. This is going to take time, but we pledge our support to help make things better. Now let's talk about the game we have made in the hopes that it might further inspire friendship. All right, so yeah, guys, we made a video about it the other day. If you haven't checked it out, feel free to. Pretty much just going over everything that just happened this past weekend. There's a lot of stuff. Before somebody jumps up and goes, oh my God, another sexual harassment case. Come on, bro. Well, man, it happens. And let me just go ahead and say that you really don't gain the true perspective until you have kids of your own, okay? When you get kids of your own, you kind of take this stuff a little more seriously. I got a little sister. She's only 12. I love her to death. She is constantly staying at my house and I've thought of her as a daughter. And just thinking about the potential harassment she could be facing down the line already infuriates me and it hasn't even happened. So if you're just like looking around going, damn, why is everybody taking this so seriously? You'll get it one day, man. That's all I'm going to say. Moving on. Strike while the iron's hot. There's a time for harmony among players and a time for honorable battle as well. The venerable Lord Saladin will see to it himself. Next week, he'll return to the tower for the first iron banner of season of arrivals. Bonus Valor will also be enabled throughout the week. Yes, guys, iron banner is kicking back off with the return of some new weapons. Number one, forward path, which is an absolutely disgusting 600 round per minute auto rifle and the fool's remedy. Also, these weapons will be reissued with season of the arrivals max infusion. So the shining sphere, swarm of the raven, talons of the eagle, bite of the fox, or wings maw, and criminal's dagger. Hell yeah. I'm excited about those weapons. Honestly, though, I have been waiting for these weapons to come back for so long. Fool's remedy and forward path Let's just take a quick look. First up, Forward Path. I love that it's already got reviews. Like people are already reviewing this thing and they don't even got it. It's got some new traits though. Iron Grip, which massively improves the weapon stability at the cost of reload speed. It's actually a big bump there in stability of plus 20, but a minus 40 reload speed. Pretty ginormous. Quite the trade-off. Another one, Iron Gaze. You actually get minus 40 range with this stat, but an increase of plus 20 aim assist. I have no idea how that's gonna go. So before I just jump up and say those rolls look like the god rolls. I can't really say that yet, right? We have to really play around with these new traits before we can really decide how forward path stacks against our other 600 round per minute autos. Other than that, stat wise, it does look good. On top of that, it does come with scopes as well as dynamic sway. Fellas, potentially forward path could damn near meet the holy trinity, but that final trait column, nah, I don't know, man. It's really going to come down to that. Will iron grip or iron gaze really be worth the trade off? We'll see. Fool's remedy though is actually a Surus Rapid Fire sidearm. Fires in full auto, has deeper ammo reserves. These little sidearms could put out for both PvP and for PvE. I'm loving that range finder moving target roll right there. Oh, that looks great. Maybe some kill clip feeding frenzy. Again, Iron Grip, Iron Gaze, we just don't know how it's going to work. For something like Fool's Remedy though, Iron Gaze will actually drop the range of the weapon down to zero. How's that even work? Seems kind of steep, man, if you ask me. Like, I understand like maybe minus 10 range or something, but increase aim assist or maybe minus 20 range, but minus 40? Jesus. Moving on. The armor set this season will be a reprise of the Iron Fellowship set. Here's a look at it with new shaders as well as the new emblem for this season. All right, so we got the new armor. Yeah, okay, okay. And a new emblem. Hell yeah. Man, I don't know what gets you guys hyped, but Titan armor that looks like a sport brawl, that's what gets me going, man. Now, Bungie also wanted to leave us a note. We also want to remind players that skill-based matchmaking has been designed 
disabled inside of Iron Banner this season, which is kind of crazy because that was the last thing I expected Bungie to do. Well, I guess the last thing I expected them to do was just remove skill-based matchmaking just in general, but to also remove it for Iron Banner, the notorious sweaty playlist that everyone hates to play because of just the drench of sweat that occurs when you play it every time it comes around. Yeah, skill-based matchmaking has also been turned off there. I had some people commenting yesterday saying that they hate Crucible now. Skill-based matchmaking being turned off has resulted in their matchmaking being terrible and they constantly get stopped. I feel for you, man. I feel for you. And, and I will say this, if you are experiencing that, competitive still has skill-based matchmaking. May not be the exact playlist and play type that you want to play, but if you're looking for a breather, feel free to jump in those playlists. And it's going to sound crazy, but last year or last season, 6v6 got so sweaty for me at many times, I just started going into comp just to breathe a little. I go inside of comp and be like, oh, thank God. I'm not getting spawn killed over and over again by the sweatiest of the sweat. It happens, dude. The beautiful thing about video games, right? You've got a humbling experience coming your way at some point, this game or the next. Now going on right now, we have the Black Lives Matter emblem for sale, or not emblem, pin, it's a pin. Dude, I said a while back that I needed to get a board and start collecting these pins. Bungie is big on these pins, dude. They had a bunch of these pins at Guardian Con, like different types of pins, and I've just never really been a pin collector. I've never been a collector of anything. I wish I had the mindset to collect stuff. When I was a kid, I collected shot glasses. I don't even know why, I didn't even take shots. I was like 12, had this desire all of a sudden to have all these crazy looking shot glasses. That's the only thing I ever collected in my life. Outside of that, I kept like two rocks from a camping trip. So these pins, man, seem like a really cool thing to collect. You also do get an emblem. Wow, okay, you do get an emblem if you buy this pin. So guys, feel free to jump on that. And again, all proceeds go to this Equal Justice Initiative. Moving on, we have new Twitch Prime rewards. Oh my Lord, Bungie just balls out month after month, right? You got an emote. I think that's what that is. Yeah, it is. Cerebral Explosion. You got an Exotic Sparrow Burnout, a Plasma Shell, and Stellar Pavements, this legendary ship. Dude, somebody right now is slamming his Twitch Prime rewards, wanting this ship right here. I don't know who, but somebody is. Dude, I'm telling you, Bungie's like scraping the bottom of the barrel. They're like, hey, what do y'all want to give Twitch this month? Do we want to give them the stuff that we gave out two years ago or a year ago? Which one? Probably a good thing. If they actually put something up really juicy, like imagine if they put a seasonal weapon, like Ariana's Vow as a Twitch Prime reward. Oh, I don't know, man. I think we might have some upset people. What do you think? Now, moving on. Prophecy Dungeon, due to an exploit, we have disabled the final checkpoint in the Prophecy's Dungeon final room, which occurs after the boss has already been defeated. Players who had the checkpoint in the final room will have their checkpoint removed. Yeah, so there was something going on. I tried to get it out of my friends the other day. I was like, hey, what y'all been doing? They're like, oh, we've been exploring the dungeon, getting all these god rolls and weapons and armor and everything else. And I'm like, what, 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 what's this? Show me. And they were like, oh no, dude, don't say nothing to Cross. He's going to make a video about it and he's going to out our strats. What do you got to say now? Bomb bad. Outside of that, guys, we have some resolved issues as well. Some of you might be pleased to see these things have actually been resolved. Hell yes. Also, some current known issues. You'll be displeased to know that these have not been resolved, but will eventually be resolved. One of which is Jade Rabbit's Fate of All Fools perk is no longer activated. Dude, I thought something was up the other day. I was playing around with some Jade Rabbit trying to get some scout rifle kills, and I just noticed that it just wasn't performing well and not just performing well in comparison to scout rifles i mean just in general it had something off about it i didn't really look closely at the numbers but that could be onto something fate of all fools which is the part that elevates the crit shot damage when landing body shot damage it's currently not working or at least what it's being alluded to here not even activating so for my three other people that actually use scout rifles every now and then inside of crucible don't worry it'll be fixed eventually now as a final send off for this week's twab the intro was pretty heavy but those things needed to be said we also want to remind Mind you all that we're immensely proud of you as a community. Last week, saw some truly inspiring triumphs to talk about as well. You donated over $800,000 during our four-hour block for St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. Donors went on to raise more than $6 million for the entire marathon. God dog it. That is incredible. That's a good God dog it, by the way. We want to thank our friends at DCX for creating a platform where we can all join forces to make a world a better place like Guardians do. Thanks to everyone who participated and donated. When you come together, you all all do amazing things. Keep doing them, Cosmo. Yo, big shout out to every single one of you. Really, really, guys. Look, I don't know where you stand. I know some people kind of get into this cynical mindset where they think that nothing they do or nothing they contribute really matters or really makes a difference. Watching these streams, man, watching what GCX has done, where it started with you guys, just a little convention of just a handful of players and the way it has blossomed to what it is today. You don't know it, but that dollar 
or whatever it is that you have to contribute to this, man, it's making life better for a kid. And look, that's what it's all about. I mean, let me just be real. I got a lot of goals in life, okay? I really do. I want a lot of stuff. I want yachts, couple Bugattis. Dude, I don't even know what a Bugatti looks like, but I do have goals. But at the end of the day, it's all going to the kids, man. I mean, we're all gonna die. I'm not trying to sound super cynical right now. I'm just saying it's gonna happen. If you find a workaround in life, let me know. But what you do now, what we start to do now, is really to make tomorrow better for our children. Like I said, even if you don't got children, that's all right. You'll have them someday. You'll get the idea. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.